<laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy No E here with Bells. Hey, guys. And today we're introducing a good friend uh, again, starting with the whole thing of bringing on people that we knew from uh, high school and have gone to do their own thing. That's right. Today, we're, uh, our host is Jen Ramos. She's with We Desserts down on Kirby. So we're getting fancier on y'all. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> so you're on the corner of Kirby and, and Richmond. Richmond. Okay. Yes. So in the Office Depot Strip Center. Don't forget. Kind of <laughs> small, kind of hidden in there, but you got to look for us right by the Supercuts. Okay. okay. So How long ago um, have you, did you get started? It's been five years in okay. uh, February. Wow. Yeah. Five years already. Okay, the focus is, of course, we desserts. Yes, we're going <laughs> to. <How? laughs> They're talking How about. How did that? I'm okay, very five humble, years. okay? So, like. And, and I know it's been it's been difficult to get you here, like, actually sit down with us. and. I work all I the know, time. I, I work a we lot. I'm not trying own. to be rude. We'll, we'll, we'll pay you the check later on for sitting down with us. You don't have to. <laughs> She did say from the very beginning, she had a busy schedule. And I mean, it, it, see, it, it looks like it. You have a very successful bakery there. Yeah. I say we're successful. Yeah, I mean, we've been there five years and it's just grown like, especially the last two years, it's just kind of skyrocketed with like cake orders. And then um, we had a, we have a huge account with a, that's my shot, um, <laughs> Empire Cafe. So we give okay. them whole cakes, oh, nice. and that that's been like one of the biggest blessings we've had in the last. How'd you get in there? I've been there, and, and okay, it's, so, it's crazy. It's packed. Yeah, it's it pretty does. Good so like, and all that. Um, last year we were featured. I believe it was last year in a, to a list of top chocolate cakes in Houston oh, for our yeah. chocolate Nutella cake, which is one of our popular ones. Yes. And um, the owner saw it, a Vampire Cafe. So he came one day, and he's like. Uh, you know, I have a restaurant in Paracay, have you ever heard of it? I'm like, yes, I love in Cafe. I've been going there for the last 10 years, you know, like I love your cakes. And I told them that our cakes are literally modeled after their cakes. Wow. Like, so because of the way they look really tall and like three layers and just look delicious and stuff. Like when I think about like a cake, I thought about their cake. Mm. Do they have and their then, own baker? Is so no, they don't. Oh, okay. They actually outsourced it. Okay. And it came to be that um, they were going to lose that company and okay. so they needed someone else to start producing cakes for them so this was like a really big challenge um but i said yeah you know like even though i was like i don't know how i'm gonna do this <laughs> like it, it being that we what make... does it entail for you to have a contract for cakes does that mean like you have a specific number of cakes per week per day they, or, per they order? send me orders about three times a week and okay. they vary anywhere from 15 cakes up to 30. Oh, yes, and like yeah. they'll need them in two days from then. Wow. <laughs> so it's a lot of cakes. So it's not it's not a consignment. You're not sending the cakes and then getting paid whatever they sell. It's no, they they, they, they buy the whole cakes from us. Yeah, of course at a wholesale price, and they make their profit, of course. Right. Um, but yeah, it's awesome. Like it's it's just taking. A lot of getting used to knowing that like constantly cakes are like. I mean, it went from like. You know, a few uh, cakes having, a month? Yeah, a few Maybe. cakes, like just a few customers' birthday cakes. It's just all of a sudden we're just constantly making cakes, constantly making cake boxes. Um, and I'm taking them in my little car. And, and yeah, it's great. I mean, but everyone's been happy. Like the customers have gotten, given them good feedback. And um, we even get some of their customers if they want like a custom So they have cake. your name there? Like they and no, it's not on display, but if someone asks, they will tell them that, that that's where they get the cakes from. That's awesome. So that and that's fine for me. You know, <laughs> I'm, I'm not walking complaining. in like that's my cake. <laughs> no, I, I'm not complaining. Like, I mean it's fine. Like, I mean we just had a gentleman pick up a cake yesterday because they tried the cake there. Okay. So um no, it's been awesome. Like it's been a great ride. Like I mean, it's it's a blessing. It's like it's kept us really busy. Has your team grown with the number? We still have a really small team, so it's only five people with me. Included. Okay. So but let's it's... let's go let's go back a little further. How how did you how did you start? Like what what made you say, hey, I'm gonna go into desserts? I mean, that's not that's not something that I heard all the time. If somebody wanted to start a business. Like why desserts? How far back? Like I mean, I would this. I mean, up until so like high school. When did it start? Yeah, what ingrained it? What what something must have ingrained the, your curiosity? The little, the little, what's the little your thing? passion. Like, uh, not the, the one with the strings. Uh, Violin. Like, no, the, the little, harp. Harp, like the harp strings. <laughs> memories. No, yeah. What, what was your first? It's like I guess. Wayne's world. I started selling cupcakes in high school. Like I no went way. to school. Yeah, like maybe you never got one because they sold out cheated. fast. I never got a <laughs> No, yeah, 
like they sold out fast. I would just bring um, just cupcakes, usually like 24 cupcakes. Really? What kind in of a cupcakes? freaking Dos Equis box that my mom would get from the grocery store. <laughs> like she would, you know, like the box they put the beer in, it was the perfect size for the cupcakes to fit in there flat. And I just bring that. I'm sure somebody's going to try that. <laughs> yeah, just ask them. They give you the boxes at the grocery store, no problem, they're free. So, like, yeah, I'd go there and sell them for 50 cents. I mean, I probably should have charged more. But, yeah, that's that was really where I got my start in baking and selling things. And then people would just be throwing their money at me. And, you know, like, I mean, it was like that. It's like, how many do you want? You know, like, they're like, you're auctioning stuff off. Okay, two, hi, what about you? Two, three, all right. Um, but, yeah, that's really, like, the first start of it was just kind of, like, for Was fun. that freshman year, sophomore year, what? I think I want to say it was sophomore year. Sophomore year. Okay. Yeah, but then I get in trouble because you're not supposed to do that because you're supposed to go to the school. Like, the money's supposed to go to the school or something. I don't know. When you're selling you in school, it yeah. It's, it's, it's like, what? I'm sorry. Yeah. You're not supposed to do that in the school. You, did you keep on doing FYI. it then? It's okay. She had just, a under, just a few more times. She had an underground market of uh, cupcakes. Yes. Illegal cupcakes. I mean, I had to start giving them away to teachers and stuff so I wouldn't get in trouble. But, okay. Um, but no, so pay for a few things. Pretty much. <laughs> I mean, everyone likes cupcakes. Yeah, come on now. So, <laughs> so then after that, so. Okay, yes, I'm not going to go through all the details, but so. No, we want to. No, <laughs> well, we're talking about baking. So, like, I didn't, I got into culinary school at 21. Yeah, and I, I thought I was going to go into another field completely different than that. But um, I went to culinary school and kind of did it like legit because I was working at Kroger at the time. Before that? Before that, yeah. And I was like, I want to do this like for real. You know, okay. like like try to find out how you do stuff from scratch because, right. you know, I'm not going to lie, the cupcakes in high school were from a box. So I, that's the only thing I knew how to do. All, all I knew was that and stuff at grocery stores and like stuff at Mexican bakeries. Mm -hmm. And that's all good, but I didn't know, I knew there was like a bigger world of desserts out there. Okay. And so um, the school just like opened my eyes to French pastry, which is like pretty much by far like the most amazing pastry still to this day, I think, because it's not very sweet and it's it's just rich on flavors and yes. stuff like that. So um, yeah, and then I, I learned all that and then worked a few places, worked at a catering company, restaurant um I worked at the Estonian hotel and oh, I got cool. a lot of uh, experience with high volume work stress long hours just yeah. like all the perks <laughs> of being a pastry chef like you know pastry person like working in the food industry. so even if you're just starting or you're expert level there's just a lot of hours that go into baking I think so okay. and I think people like need to know that so right. like yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is what we're here that for is, trying to educate you, you the masses. It's what hard. I see like about that, like you yeah. know what I see a lot of happening is like the people that make just cakes, mm -hmm. a lot of like independent, just strictly cakes, and, and, and it looks like that's exactly what happens. They just get so involved in it, and then it gets to the point where they can't handle it. Like it's just too much. To it is, it really yeah that's the thing I mean it's it takes a lot of time and if you want to come up with a good product it's gonna take patience. But there's and just so work. much involved in it. I mean, there really you, is. You, you're a baker, but then there's also cake decorators. There's also you know, which I'm pretty sure in your team of five you have someone that's like. But even we won't do like really elaborate stuff. Okay. Like I mean. Our, I think everything that comes out of our shop looks really nice and professionally done, but then some shops just go really overboard. They'll just do a lot for their customer, which which I respect, but we just don't have time to do that much. Like, yeah. I mean, you focus more on the quality. The of quality, it, yeah, of and as long as it, exactly, yeah, because a lot of times those cakes they look pretty, but they're mostly filled with sugar and fondant yes. that you don't even eat. I've had and bad so, experience like that too. Yeah, and yeah. so we don't even like try to sell things like that because yeah. it just seems like a waste. Superficial. In my yeah, but I mean, I, I get it. I guess people want stuff for their kid's birthday. So it's kind of like, you know, you want a wow factor. Do you want it to taste good? Mm -hmm. You can have, kind of have a little bit of both, I think. Yeah. But um, I don't know where we were, where we were at. But um, <laughs> yeah. Well, a lot, of, a lot of hours. You're saying that, that what sometimes people that go into the industry don't realize that there's a lot of time in it. Whether, like you were saying, whether it's your beginning or even now as a successful company. You still have to put in a lot of time, so yeah. you only have one day off, like really. I mean, I don't take the day off, but yeah, I do. You're, I should it's have off, one. But off. you're still working. I went into work today for a half day, 
which is eight hours, which is most people's full day. Wow. But um, that's nothing. No, it's like, it's so short. Like, I can't do anything in eight hours. Like, I think, I mean, an average day for me is 12 to 14 hours. Wow. It seems like a lot, but I'm used to it. Well, for five years, I'm sure you are. And it's your own business, too, so you take yeah, home it that doesn't, pride, It doesn't too. feel the same. Right. You know, like, it, it is stressful, but it doesn't... It just feels totally different. Like I can't really explain. Because it's yours. I'm pretty yeah. sure like um, anybody who works 17 hours for a company is not going to feel the same. Well, I just work 17 hours, but for myself. Yeah. So it must give you some sort of pride even with that. Like, you know. No, of course. No, I mean, I, I know that everything that we put out there is always of really good quality. And I, I would eat it. And I would feed it to my friends and family. Yeah. And that's all that matters. And you can tell because... I've gone to weddings where I had no idea they even knew you, and they're like, "Yeah, the cakes from Weed is." I'm like, in my head, I'm like, "I know her," <laughs> but no, it's really, really impressive. Yeah, you know, it like is. it really is. Like I, I like I said, I, I tend to be really modest, but I know at the end of the day that, like, you know, I try. I don't think of it that much. But I'm like, wow, there have been like probably thousands of people that have tried yes. our stuff, mm -hmm. and, and they like crazy. it, and they yeah, ask like, about it. It's pretty yeah. cool. So I guess it just happens with time and, and hopefully we, you know, we just start getting more new people because some people have never even tried, um, you know, a macaron or things that we sell there. And yes. so, and I mean, I've had so many people say like, I've never had these things. I've seen them on the internet. I've seen pictures of them and I don't know mm -hmm. what they are. And then they try ours and then they just love them. Yes. And sometimes they can't even go anywhere else because they'll try other people. Then they'll just be like, you know, I don't like anyone but yours. That's like, true. Well, good for me, right? I'm not a sweet person myself. So I can eat any from any place and to be like, eh. I mean, I could, I kind of talk mess. I'm like, oh, I could have had a wafer for the same, you know, whatever. But with <laughs> yours, I can actually say it's different. Like I've had macaron. I say macaroons. Maybe I'm wrong. Macarons. It's macaron. macaron. It's a French word. Okay. No one says it right. Okay. And I don't care because <laughs> as long it as you're buying, like you did. no, I did not care. As long as you're in there spending money, you can say it however you want. I just say I want that one. Yeah, <laughs> just make a point. Macarons. Can I have that cookie thing? Sure. Oh, I don't macaron. judge anyone. Macaron. Don't. No. <laughs> it's okay. I don't mind at all. Like yes, it's not. It's okay. Macaroon is two O's, macaron. and it means a coconut. Pastry. It's literally just so it's coconut different. condensed milk. It's totally different. Oh. Yeah, it's sometimes dipped in uh, chocolate, and it's just kind of like a mound of coconut. Okay. Bait. Okay. They'll say, so a macaron is a French cookie that's made with uh, ground almonds and powdered sugar and flavorings and colors. Okay. And then it's sandwiched with usually buttercream or um, like a ganache filling. Okay. So when you call a macaron a macaroon, you sound like a moron. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> when people come in there saying they want a macaroon, I'm drinking. We don't care. care. <laughs> I get it. So. I get it. No, but honestly, um, I've had them. I mean, you go. I mean, I feel like it just popped up. The you know the French desserts everywhere. You go to Memorial City Mall. You go to Galleria. They're just everywhere. They really are. Yeah. Um, even city center. There's a coffee shop, and right there you have mac macarons. So, um, but, but trying yours is just, you have more of, I think they try to do more American or they try to do it too sweet or I don't know, like even their texture. With yours, it's more actual French, like you can actual, I don't know, but then it has more, it's very soft too at the same time. So it, it's, it's I mean, impressive. we get that a lot that ours have um, like a chewier texture yes. and they're fluffier. Yes. And uh, I think that has to do with the base that I use, it's, it's just the... The meringue itself is a French meringue. Okay. Most people use Italian meringue. I might be giving away my secrets right now. Okay. But um, that's really why they're so fluffy. Okay. And and I hear that a lot that ours are not as sweet, even though they tend to be a sweet dessert in general. So. Um, you think it's maybe because they've even been corrected from trying something mm. different first? I don't know. I mean, I never like to say mine or my things are better. Or they're just different. Every do bakery you, is different. Do you try to stick to the more authentic side of it. The origins Yes though. and no. I mean, if I tried authentic way of doing things and it's like not to my liking, I'll try to tweak it, it a little bit. Way. Yeah, so uh, I mean, there have been things I've tasted that are considered French that I thought were not that great or dry or maybe too buttery because mm -hmm. they really like using butter. So, um, okay. yeah, and I just tweak it to make, make it my own, okay. which I think every chef does. Right. Have you been to France and, and learning a little bit? I haven't. Hopefully no. I'll go one day. 
I will just love it. I'll yeah. have to like be on a diet for a year after because I'm gonna <laughs> eat everything. Like I love pastries. Well, they say it's so it's very fresh out there. All the the the, the, the cuisine it's very seafood. Mm -hmm. very, I love seafood. Yeah, they say it's I very fresh. I love pastries. I love food in general. I'll eat all of it. I mean, maybe not the snails, but everything else pretty much. I is. man, there's a there's a special on on Netflix, uh, street food. Uh huh. And for the first time, the when they were showing it, they were I don't know if it was Pakistan or or India or somewhere. And they had snails, and for the first time, I was like, ah, I'll try it. I, oh, it was Vietnamese. Vietnamese street food, and they had snails. And and I love pho, so I'm like, all right, maybe something trans. The way that she was uh, preparing it, it had like garlic, and I don't know what else. It just looked like a good base for something. And then they put the snails, and I was like, eh. I'll give it a shot. <laughs> I mean, I'll eat anything if I don't really know what it is. Like, if you right. tell me it smells, I might be kind of like, eh. But then, like, if I eat it, I'm like, oh, this is kind of windy. But see, what happened one time with me, like, I actually thought that about, like, uh, food in general. Like, for example, frog legs. I always said, like, as long as I don't know what it is, I might try it. You yeah. can't. You can't. Yeah. I bit into frog legs, and I was like, Oh, this is I, was, I was fine with it until I thought about it. I had two It just full tasted ones. weird. It, it does, does not but when you think like about it. No, it does not taste like It does chicken. taste like chicken. Yes, it did. It, like it, it, it tasted more did. like Let's a... go get some frog legs <laughs> now. <laughs> it tasted, I considered it Cajun chicken. Man, if it was spicy Cajun, I probably would have it, it. It just had a little aftertaste. I think what messed yes, me up was I thought about it. The taste. Yeah, because I was eating it and I went through the whole thing. I'm like, okay, it is kind of like chicken. But then... I started thinking about it by the time I got to the second one because they were long, first of all. That's what she said. <laughs> so and then I get to the second one and I start eating, I start thinking about what frogs eat and that got me. I'm like, they eat Do flies, they eat, <laughs> they eat oh, insects. Yeah. So when I'm eating the second one, that thought like, that killed it. So I stopped eating it. But you're I've right. As long as I don't know what it is, I can enjoy it. Now I'm gonna think about what my food eats. <laughs> I mean, think about it, like bacon. What do what do pigs eat? Like, if you really think about Slop it. Slop and all kinds of everything. Exactly right. No, but it's so delicious. The smell of it makes you get over all that. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Like, like, oh, bacon. <laughs> There's so many foods out there. That, I mean, I guess. Are there some pastries that you wouldn't, even though you would make, you wouldn't eat? Or you're just a pastry, you're a sweets person. It seems like you're a sweets person because you. You're yeah, in no, industry. I'm like all sweets of every quality. Like I mean, like so I'm I have, not a sweets person. That's why I asked. Yeah, like, no, I like no. I, I I got into pastry because I really like desserts. Okay. You know, like and then my mom really loved desserts. So anything I tried, she was like. She was like, yeah, Mihal, you know, whatever you make, it's great. Like, and Aww. so she always ate everything. But I think it's funny because she just eats, she doesn't know the difference between anything. She just <laughs> eats everything in general. So like. Did she, did she cook, did she make you? Uh... No, she never made desserts. That's no. the thing. I don't know where I got it from. Like, wow. my, she said my grandmother who passed away when I was really young um, was a cook in a hotel. So maybe I kind of got that from her. I'd like to think I did since I don't really know her. Okay. But, um. Yeah, and she worked in a in a hotel too, like a high end hotel, like same as me. So okay. maybe, maybe that's kind of like where the gene came from for the baking, mm -hmm. because I do not cook at all. Like I just know how to bake anything, you know. I'm just really good at baking. You know, you find that I think that's why I really ended up doing it because I found something that I felt was literally the only thing in my life that I was ever really good at. Okay. And so I just I just you know. And you enjoy it. it. It's not yeah, that you're really just good at it because a lot of people sometimes find something that they're good at but yeah. they don't necessarily enjoy yeah. it. No, it's really satisfying because it's like when you really think about it, and not to sound like I'm high right now or something, but like you know, <laughs> you're literally taking like all these raw ingredients, eggs, flour, Crazy. sugar, and then it just comes out as something totally different. Like I think yeah. that's so amazing. Right. Like we tend not to do that at work because then we just can't focus. We're just like, wow. <laughs> but but that really is rice. what it's like. Yeah, like it's it's a really neat thing to do. Like I I, you know, as much as as much stress as I have over the work, um, it's a really cool job. Like, I have a really cool job. Like, is, is it part of the like the whole control part? Like, you, you're in charge of every like all the ingredients and like, yeah. I mean, I guess uh, after I mean, you know, because you don't need anything up to oven, chance. You already no, know. No, yeah. I mean, it's in the oven, and you know, the oven does its thing. And right. You just gotta keep an eye on it, and that's it. I mean, it's. It is really neat. It's a neat job. Like I, I can't complain. Have you had any fails in your five years? 
Or even before that, in school, like, a oh, major well, yeah, I mean, story. you learn everything. I cried in school a few times. Yeah, really? so, like... So, is that stressful? I, I've heard it's... Yeah, like, I know I'm, culinary school is stressful, but I... They it's, yell at you. Really? Do they? Really? Like, like, the chefs in my school were all uh, actually from France. Okay. So, they're very strict, which, like, I totally get it, because they don't want you, like... Like fucking up the stuff. So oh, I don't know yeah. if you can curse on here, you but can. they don't want you like leaving there and not knowing, <laughs> like not knowing what you're doing because you're gonna like represent the school. So right. I totally get it. But um, yeah, they like would would yell at you like if you didn't do something right, like Jennifer, what is this? And I was like, I don't know, chef. Like, did I do it right? And like, you know, you didn't do it right. You did not study. And then like talk to you crazy and stuff. And that's my impression of French. So it's like. <laughs> Good okay, job. Yeah, since since you're talking about like critique and everything like that with with chefs, like, is the whole Gordon Ramsay thing is that real? Like, do you think that's real? I've never seen someone act like that, but I'm pretty sure that it ex exists. His food is freaking good because we. Actually, I mean, I went that's to Vegas. why probably because they're scared for their lives. <laughs> but another thing, I saw um, there was a there's a movie Julia and Julie. I've that's never the, seen that. No, yeah, no, I, I, I don't see anything. The, I'm just, I'm working. And that's I'm like, the I only, um, I guess, like little tidbit. Really yeah, yeah, that, that I, I can actually say French cuisine is like very strict because they take pride yeah. in their Frenchness. I mean, you don't, sense. you don't see or hear American cooking. It's like French cooking. Like that's right. it. You know, I guess. No, I mean, I, I totally get it. They just take a lot of pride in, in what they do, and I respect that. And I feel like I came out of the school um, a good, like a really good learner because of that. Is it is it essential for somebody looking to come into dessert or even just the restaurant industry in itself or cuisine-wise, it, it's an absolute that they have to go to culinary school? No, not at all. No? Like, I'm not trying to, like, down culinary school, but... Um, People learn on the job all the time. Like you just go to a place, you pick up skills, you take notes, and you just become good at it. Just like anything else. Yeah. I mean, that's all it is. Like um, experience. It's just more... a trade. It's yeah. It, it's something you can really learn. I mean, ex experience can happen anywhere. Right. I mean, there's uh, people I work with that didn't go to culinary school, and they're just as good as me or anybody who did go to culinary school. So, she, she was featured at her at her school. Were you? A couple featured, years ago. Yes. Really? Yeah. Well, As the, for well, what? Or how does that? How do, you, how do you get featured? It's an alumni-owned business. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, it's on the page. Okay. And the picture is me with my Muppet, Muppet uh, Jenny. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, I remember Jenny. That. She's yeah, she's here. She hanging out. I don't know if I'm gonna get her. Maybe later. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's retired. You know, she she just quit. And she I didn't think that out. was any. I didn't think that was fair at all because like I'm still there, continuing to bust my ass every day. And she just <laughs> wants to come home and relax. Like, so how did that get started? What, what, what was the, the Muppet? Yeah. yeah. I think <laughs> I think the Muppet happened because I just like, like was my anger towards my dog. Like, I'm just really shy, my and like I mean I'm not as shy anymore. But I guess when I was featured in the photo, which was actually for Double um, O Two, which has turned to local magazine now. Um, I didn't know, I, didn't, I was like, I needed something to hold. That was like, I need something, you know? Like, can I have my, my, my puppet with me? And they're like, that's the first time we ever had ever that they brought their puppet. But yeah, sure. So, you know. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's too weird. No, like, don't, I'm I am weird. It. No, I'm, That's I'm, cool. I, I'm a weird, you know, okay, I'm weird and I've accepted that I'm weird. Good for you, and cheers. It's fine, because you know what, I still became yeah. something. Okay, oh, get, get it, girl, girl. get it, girl. <laughs> so us oh, weird yeah. folks. What are you doing? <laughs> I mean, us weird folks can still make it out there in the world, I'm just Well, saying. one thing I did notice um, mm -hmm. about you, ever since in high school, I mean, I always knew of you, but you were always just quiet. Yeah, I you know. know. And like, I was here from a distance, and you were just quiet. And I, I was playing already. <laughs> like, I'm sure you were. It makes sense now. Something. That's I mean, why. people would would talk, you know, about you, but it was like, oh, she's so cool. This is but like, I never saw it. Just you were just so quiet, you know. But for me, like, even mutual friends, it's like I never seen that. Like, you know, I never heard of that. But. I mean, that's all that matters. Like, I when I think about it, um, I I mean, I had my group of friends. Yeah. But since having the store. They've all come back to me, like all the people, like not just them, but just, you know, like y'all, like we can't see, we're, we were particularly close, but right. I knew of y'all. Yeah. And, but they've all come to like support me. And I think that's so cool, yeah. you know, like yeah. 
like you just see it like like the clicks don't matter anymore like we're here in the real world mm-hmm. you know we want to buy a cake and we heard it's good here so we're gonna buy but it. i always felt like our yeah. high school was a little different in that sense because you know, i went to college and i would hear about other like clicks and stuff like other high school experiences i never felt reagan was like i felt we stood apart in that sense I mean, I yes, we did have our really thing. Cool. They were mixed. Like, they, yeah, yeah, but you don't, you, yeah. you didn't see just the jogs hanging out with the jogs. Or just, yeah. I mean, I was in the van, but it wasn't like that. Wasn't the only people I hung. I don't know. It was, but I loved it, and I think it's it, you can if it reflects now with everybody doing their own thing and everybody yeah. still supporting each other. I think for the most part at our school that we all kind of have respect for each other's yeah you know views and like interests and stuff. Like we we've been we've interviewed a uh, Winston. Uh, yeah. We've interviewed Eric, uh, Eric over at uh, Trendsetters, and that, that I mean that's three already with, with you. Three three people that completely different. Everybody's always, but they ended up doing their own thing right out of high school, or like them like just building a foundation right out of high school, or knowing what they wanted, which is impressive. And hear, hearing the timelines that happen at the same time, because yeah. now that we think about it, like you're talking about your cupcakes going on. Uh, Eric was talking about him, him doing his own haircuts at like eleven years old. Yeah. Winston talking about. Uh, Winston's been an artist forever. Yeah. Doing his, like the mm-hmm. the current artwork that he's doing now, the soul. Like mm-hmm. he was working on that stuff in high school. In freshman year. Yeah. yeah. So it's like that's pretty neat. To, yeah. to, to hear I all think, those overlapping I really think that lines. anything that you end up doing like as your career is something you had interest with at least since your teens. You well, know. I'm be- lost. No, no, no. I mean, not, I, I not think always, but like I think it's a beautiful thing when that happens. Yeah. yeah. Um, because it, it is not that it is very rare, and I and I say that um, speaking to people that are doing their own thing, but also like just in general, like there's grown people that they have a great job, but there there's a void, there's no passion, yeah, or whatnot, you know. And for I want to I want I want to say most of us, but some of us are lucky to have known what we wanted or knew of our passion or knew just you know i think it's just different i need to, I need to start singing again or you music do or you say your voice changed but you still it have is. a good voice it, it's lower but yeah i guess that is it I mean, you, you should just to... go for it i mean i don't know like you gotta take chances sometimes i guess yeah like i mean doing the store we can go back to the beginning was not easy like what I, were your struggles? What was your main struggle? Like that money. one money? <laughs> yeah, like just yeah, mostly that's, money. That's an awesome location. I'm, I mean, I'm sure that it's not. Yeah, true. I mean, not just that, just like the equipment for it and everything. Right. Um, is your current I did location have the a, start? Mm-hmm. Is, is that that wasn't the start of your of your first? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah, like uh, I had a business partner and we decided to open a store, but he was mostly just like. Kind of the money side of it and and the management side of it okay. and he had experience in restaurants so um i was a talent part of it he's like are you willing to work and i'm like yeah because i've already worked for someone else a lot like okay. and i was working at my at my previous job like 14 hour days sometimes like we worked during the holidays like You're talking about kroger right no i'm talking about the houstonian hotel oh, that, houstonian. that was the, the job i had when we opened the okay. store and so I was like, I can do it for myself, you know? Like, I'm, I'm sure I can do it, you know, like, why not? Like, make I somebody mean, else money or make yourself money? Pretty much, yeah, so, um, but yeah, it took a lot, I mean. You let go of the Houstonian? Like, no, for- I mean, it was it, it was a process opening the okay. store. It, took, it was some setbacks, like, some contractors weren't mm. doing the job correctly with the hire other contractors, so it took a while, like, it was probably, like, six more months opening than before the time it's supposed to let's touch on that because that is not the first time i hear that i've heard that i have a friend who it's actually my boss too like he had something going with his i think a dance studio that he has with his wife and they had a similar situation somebody else that i've heard with the what happens like it's not uncommon to hear problems with contractors when you're doing i mean the contractor promises to do so and so work by so and so time. What are what are some of the money. things that you that you would that you would uh, give somebody to look out for with, with, when There's hiring really, a contractor? Or, I, th- I can only say just try to find somebody with really good references, yeah, and that you can trust. Like if you you know they see you see good like customers that had them <clears> that are happy and they finish the work on time as promised or like around that time. Do you think price is a big factor into that? I mean, you get what you pay for with anything. 
you know. So I guess if you want to rush something, I mean, someone will, they're going to say they can do it, but it might not be the best. It just depends on what your your goal is for opening or, you know, do you want something really simple, which I would always recommend anybody opening anything new to do something simple versus really elaborate because you need to get your customers first, then you can work on that later. Right. Like our store um, is, is pretty simple now and it still is and I don't see any reason to change it. It's awesome. Because the, the product is really what matters right. yeah. and the location is really awesome too. It is. Yeah, it is. So, open front, easy. like yeah. open, open. I mean, you can see you from the corner. Mm -hmm. Like if they're stopped, they're stopped. Like yeah, there, there's that. What is it? A Papa's, Papa's Express. The Papa's is Express Street, yeah. But you can still see we like. Yeah. We get some of their customers actually, and some of their employees. Cool. That's awesome. So they're like they walking back to their is car. Than theirs, which is really weird because they're a Mexican <laughs> restaurant. But okay. But you're going into the Mexican pastries. And, and to, yes, yes exactly. we're now we're going to have to do the Mexican pastries. To pastries. reiterate, she said that she's going to make that. me. <laughs> That's <is> full. <laughs> That's a whole other episode of getting <laughs> taste tests yes. to see if ours is not dry as hell like previous ones. Had. It won't be though because you already know what you want and you and you come from Correct. the Latino she, she culture, so want. you already know what the concha is. <laughs> you know what the concha is. You know you know what. What it entails, it's a concha. You know what the down, downfalls are of but the, the if typical it, you Mexican cannot, concha. Yeah, but she can also, put, like she said, make her own twist to it. Like, can I make another suggestion? No! Okay. <laughs> Churros. Those are a little more complicated. Cause I, gotta I, fry really? those. I mean, yeah, they have to be fried. Like, and yeah. Is there a lot of work behind churros? There's this one okay. place in Mexico City. No, you just pipe them into the fryer, right? I don't, I don't know. only make them once. I just there's eat some them. that are <laughs> not good, them. though. I They're too, I don't know. You have to, it has to be the right. There, there's a place texture. in Mexico City that that's all they do. Only uh, that and, and hot chocolate. And and you go to New York and there's like hot dogs and churros stands everywhere. Yeah? Yeah. I, I thought it was nice. weird. Like that churros, yeah. I guess everybody, everybody's in New York, every culture. I've yeah, never been there. True. Have you? No? The ones. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you where, where, where's the, uh, you, well, you have to have vacations now, right? I mean, no, not yet. I mean, no, I mean, she's I just work. Now, yeah, yeah, like, but, okay. she's a hustler. But okay, now. also, just like, if I had extra money, I probably wouldn't apply it towards a vacation. No? I would probably like apply it to something here, like my own, my home life. I don't know. I don't know. It's just that how I am. Maybe one day. No, that's, I mean, that's a good mindset. We'll see. Because they cost so much. Like, people that tell me that, they're just like, they're broke for like months after. <laughs> I don't really, I'm not ready for that. I'm like, cheap. I go, when I go on vacation, I'm cheap. <laughs> I spent, I just spent like 80 bucks the other night. I didn't even think about it. Like, I mean, I could just imagine. <laughs> like, you know, once you're drinking and eating and stuff, you're just like, yeah, sure, here. That's like, true. That's, you know, that hurts my heart imagine. and my wallet the next day. Yeah. But you don't think about it because you're having too much fun. Right. That is true. That is true. You're not yourself when you're inebriated. That's the point. I think she wants more beer. I don't. I'm trying to do this fast as I can. <laughs> I was trying to push her, but she seems willing we to. We can drink. Yeah. Y'all can. Oh my god. So, um, any, I, I want to know, like, I've messed up cakes. I like baking, but I like cooking too. Oh yeah, we never talked about the mess, the messed up cakes. Um, so what I just want to know what are the fails, like the story. Like, I'm pretty sure you've messed up some cakes, girl. Like, apart from um, school and you know getting that, was there a big fail when it came to a bake, or like maybe a wedding order or something? Like a big, big, major fail. There's only one, and they'll know who they are. Okay, but we, we won't did say names. Do, no, you don't say names, but I did agree to do a wedding cake, and that thing fell over oh. at the party. And I never had done one before, but I only did it because it was someone that I knew. But that wasn't your fault. I mean, it could have probably been a little bit more chilled on the way over there when I really thought mm. about it. Like, but it's just something that, like, I'm. It, I mean, it, it's it it was a kind of partly between regretful and not regretful, like that I know, like, well, I did because I didn't want to say I can do something and then. You know, you said that was your first time. Yeah, and like, I never done it, and I never gonna do it again. Oh, uh, first, uh, no, like, first, a specific like, cake. Well, I took it over there, and then, and then it just it seemed fine until it was starting to set up, and I guess the room was hotter. Like there were so many factors that didn't really. Well, but you said in. it was your first time, so was it your first wedding cake, or was it your first? Um, like when you say it was your first time, what was the first time? Like having such a large cake. Oh, the, the size yeah, of it. Yeah, and okay. then actually taking it to the venue and 
setting it up and everything like that. Okay. So, um, those things are just more involved than I thought. That's right. why even now we, we only do cakes so small. Because if you think about it, it's like a lot of gravity holding this big thing up and yeah. you have to account for all that stuff. You have to account for the heat, the movement of the car taking it mm -hmm. and all these things. And it's just something I really didn't think okay. about. Okay. And and um, since they knew me, luckily everything, you know, it wasn't fine, fine because of course their cake fell over, but they didn't hate me and you know, we really refunded them and stuff and so it was just a learning experience overall i think that might be my biggest fail in the whole store i what can't what did you learn from that like taking into consideration or just not doing big cakes because i would have I, I just don't think i'll do big cakes i just don't think it's like something that is what i'm comfortable with okay and and since that I feel like I've really not been afraid to tell customers when I'm just not comfortable with doing something. Okay, good for you. Or like not confident in doing something because mm -hmm. I can't do everything. You know, I'm not a miracle worker. Well, you're not going to vouch for something that you don't feel comfortable with. Yeah, because like it's your people, work at Yeah, the end people of the show day. me pictures of things like, can you do this? Or can you do these particular flavors of cake or fillings or stuff like that? And like, I know what'll work and what won't work. Okay. And like, I'll ask, you know, the girls at work like do you think it'll work because i want to say no until i get someone else's opinion okay, first okay. and i really try my best to like please the customer but then still do something that at the end won't it will be proud of you know right. that's the point yeah and if i don't i mean i have everything like, you're putting out there has your name on it it has your yeah yeah like i wouldn't want anyone eating this and eating the cake and just being like this this is trash you know like and like i never and i don't think we've ever really gotten that you know, unless someone's just like, extremely picky or just really loyal to another bakery. But um, yeah, I guess that's just it. I think it just made me more comfortable just to say no. Good for you. Right. Because okay. like, you know, it's sometimes it's not all about like making the customer happy. It's just like, yeah, making them happy, but also making sure that it's just something I can do. But, right. You know, I'm not gonna agree to something and just it just be really bad at the end because I wasn't sure about it. What I can uh, correlate it to is, you know, when we're talking to Winston, um, he's an artist, and when people come up to him and say, "I want this," you have to understand that he has a specific type of art. He has a style, yeah. Yeah, and so if you go to him, he's not gonna give you the portrait that you had in mind. He's gonna give you the portrait that he can do. Yeah. So and 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 that's the in same, that same thing sense, with the cake, right? Yeah, and that's really what we tell people. Like, if when they want a specific birthday cake with like a specific theme. They, I just send, say, send us a few photos and we'll pick something in between on what we okay. can do with those colors and that kind of... Like, and it's theme. always good to have that type of honesty, too, from... But I from think, I group. honestly think that's why people go to a particular store because exactly. they don't want it to be a cookie-cutter thing on anything they can get at an, a grocery store or something. Like, you're going to them for a reason. Right. So, um, I think people usually are prepared for that when they come to, like, an independent little store like mm -hmm. ours mm -hmm. what uh what's your favorite dessert to eat at your shop mm, that's a good question. currently mm -hmm. it is the mm -hmm. buttermilk cookie or probably the chocolate eclair because um i guess they're both just they just have really good flavor to me i think i like more of the like the really basic desserts i mean not that they're basic but just something like the more simpler stuff like i tend to go for cookies like over okay. like macarons i tend i hardly ever eat those i eat cookies or eat an eclair or we just kind of eat cake scraps to be honest like we don't want to waste the product we can sell that but so like we just kind of like, cut off the scraps your, and what, eat that what's your one that you'll you like indulge with your bayonets are good, girl. Like, are those are actually, yes. I did eat a few of those the other day. Mm -hmm. I hate them because they're so addicting. Because I'm not a sweets person, so I would go. Those are more in the savory section. And then Tony though. and Jay, and they like, get hey, some. You, Danny. You got a bunch of white powder. And I know. They're like, you want some? Like, no, I'm okay. And then, like, after a while, I'm like, well, let me show you what I'm going to do. And yeah. they're just like, oh, they're so addicting. Oh. <laughs> they're good. <laughs> I would, no, I'm really like, right now, just the cookies and. The eclair have kind of been like my all-time favorite things. Yes. I mean, I make the custard that goes into that, and um, it's something that I'm really proud of the recipe. Okay. And it's really popular. Like people, they that, people like it. People come to me saying they've never found like another true eclair in Houston, which is like. I'm wow, curious really. about that. Okay. Your, <laughs> your recipes. Do you know them by memory, or do you have a book? I have a book, but some of them are by memory. But a lot of times I like to refer the book. Um, why? Just 
just to be safe because you never know. Like you might be having a lot of things on your mind, you forget to add the sugar or something. So you're very consistent then. Yeah, everything in a store is consistent. Well, it has to be. Yeah, I mean it's baby. Well, I mean if if all if you of a if you yeah, if you forget the freaking flour or the sugar, like there goes your whole creation. That, that is crazy though. There, there's a book out there, and, and maybe we'll find it in Lincoln or something. But the science of cooking, and it's like a huge index of like the scientific study of like what happens. That's what when I'm you telling you when I when I think about it, it really blows my mind. Yeah. Like, and that's like, why I try yeah. not to because I can't work. I'm just like, wow, this is really amazing. I think like the certain talk, temperatures. I think we, no, no, it, it talks about everything, like how scientifically what goods goes good with something else. Okay. And it's just down to the chemical combination of them. It's crazy. Like, I know it was a really expensive book, but everything really matters. But I think with baking, it has all to do with just your experience and seeing the things. Like you can kind of tell by the way it looks, by the way what it, works and so what it doesn't feels. You know, like or just. By the, uh, I mean, you can just you can just kind of tell when something right. is going wrong. Right? Have, have you ever heard the the saying in Spanish about uh, "Ah, es que tiene sazón"? I told you I know a lot of Spanish. <laughs> have you heard it? What? Like "Ah, es que tiene sazón." Like they're talking about a person. "Ah, es que tiene sazón." Like speaking about that, they just have that. I guess the the, the it like factor the touch? To, to, to to yeah exactly yeah. the touch to cook to bake to. Do something. Do you think that's a real thing? Like, yeah, it totally is a real thing. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I have confidence in that that I can like look at something and kind of like yeah, dissect yeah, it. Yeah, no, yeah, like, girl. but I'm telling you, that's <laughs> that, that dude, like, oh, no, I like I, I mean, baking is I the only it. thing in my life that I have been good at. So, so you, like, can I you mean. Cook? No, <laughs> I can. I mean, I can barely make an egg. I like, can cook you. Why are you okay. giving your hard time? No, I'm just asking. You. I'm just I can't be good at everything. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, I think it's good that I'm good at this one thing and end up making money. I made you breakfast. Money. It's a cupcake. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> You'll eat it though, okay? <laughs> I really can't cook that much. I burn food. I think, I think part of the bakery baking things is that you leave it in there, kind of set it and forget okay. it, and then you check on it and it's done. So it's like, okay. It kind of does the work for you. I, I guess, Cooking, okay. you got to kind of like look I, over it. I just it thought of a little good little segment that's perfect for you. So, all right. What are some of the the quick tips that you can give somebody that that wants to bake at home? Uh, okay. A quick, simple thing. What, what what would you suggest that they look out for? Buy a box. <laughs> <laughs> Buy a Follow box. the instructions. <laughs> yeah. No. Honestly, Add I more think eggs. If, I think if you want to, like it, it helps to just do something. All simple like that first, just to get the feel of like using the tools and yeah. using the oven because. I, that's how I learned. I mean, that's what I did first. Like, I looked at the directions in the back of the Betty Crocker box, and I did that. Right. And, like, you know, you knew how to crack. It, like, just even those simple steps. Like Betty, you owe her some money. <laughs> being comfortable <laughs> with, like, just using, you know, fresh eggs and oil yeah. and, and measurements, using measuring cups, like, using So being, being precise on the measurement is, is critical? Yeah, it is very important. We're playing with it, too. That's how I kind of learned. So my godmother did cakes. Uh, not business just like from home and she would tell me like get a box and just add just maybe one or two eggs and then use instead of water use milk like just the and th that's what i'm the saying the substitution yeah. of that's things what, that's what and I'm playing with it the professional that's what i'm asking her oh, like is that's exactly okay, what came to mind I because can say I have messed, here you can mess up a box mix i've done it like if you can add too much of something and it will be messed up yeah. i mean but you know, you're talking about the Mexican way of thing. They don't measure anything, so like yeah, that's, that's a diff that's yeah. a different world, and it comes out this it comes out good in either way. So like how you no, explain really it? I'm just gonna go no, ahead and say that's why your conchas are fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> measure things i wouldn't think so i was always told un poquito de eso and or like right. a handful of this and like that, that just it but gives no, you so everybody's much anxiety hands full is different exactly that's what like, i mean so that's that's what like, everybody everybody bother with everyone's it. hands are different shapes so like i, I thought about that too yeah, like, the, the, the flour flour like, like, like the flour tortillas my aunt like just a little bit just a little bit like <laughs> with the whole no it doesn't work the mexican way doesn't work so i'm trying to learn from you <laughs> I think it, I think like I told you, okay. I told you to make tortillas and you came up with cornbread. What the fuck? <laughs> I think it's a good rule, general rule, just to like go with the recipe at first, and then you can, if you get comfortable, then you can kind of tweak after. I sort of, I mean, again, you know, that's how I kind of did it. 
Yeah, like I mean, because I, I, I can say that now... Um, so they still don't we, come out right Yeah, <laughs> we still measure, but there are some things we can eyeball. It just kind of depends. But we, because we've been, done it like a ton of times. Are chocolate chip like, cookies? Oh my god. Yeah, they are. Like, I have to not get them because otherwise... Like, the other day I bought some, I think it was like five or something. Two of them didn't make it. <laughs> That's not as good cookies. People get oh, straight up mad at us god. when we are out of cookies. Like, I'm like, I don't know, we have a fresh batch in the oven now. You want to wait? I can put some aside for you. Be like 10 minutes. They're like, no, it's all right. I'll just get this one. But I know they like it, so it doesn't matter. I don't really get affected by that. Like, they're all good, so you just got to try something different. Right. That's just what happens when we run out of something. They have to try something different. Um, in the five years, has your menu changed or no? Yeah, I it's mean, grown, huh? yeah, we, we've added more stuff, um, taken a few things away, but mostly added stuff. What have um, you taken off or, or why? Because I would think, like, you know, in pastries or sweets, you know, you really can't go a, wrong with anything. Yeah, we had a few seasonal fa flavors of macarons that we took oh, off. Oh, okay, okay. That's about it, but, like, um, I mean, we kind of kept it the same for the most part. I mean, I think we've taken off a few items, but we also add on items, and we try to keep the items on. Um, Sometimes we just get in moves when we make something really random and we'll sell it for a little bit. It just kind of yeah. depends. But we try to keep things consistent because we have customers that have really strong loyalties to certain things. Like people come in and like I see them right away. I'm like, they're not out of here, but I got some in the back. Just give me two minutes. Okay. And like they're like, okay. And we didn't even say anything. Like we didn't say the product. <laughs> I just know what they want. Wow. Like yeah. I'm, I'm just. We have regulars. I'm just we have a lot the, of regulars. For the pumpkin pie, like when is that? No, are you okay? That's <laughs> Thanksgiving. <laughs> that's gonna be a while. Like October is when you'll see him. I love no, that pumpkin pie. No, seriously, pumpkin pie. Is your your wow. big boy status is showing. No, it really <laughs> is. Like I feel you on that one. Yeah, I don't know. When we make that pie, we have to make one just for us to eat, and we just like, we'll just sit there being like, "This is so good." It, it like, is. It is. Pumpkin, it, pumpkin, the pumpkin, the pumpkin pie. pie like, I, I sorry, I, I do. There's a lot of things that I've made, and I haven't had them until I make them. Okay. And then when I make it, I'm like, "This is really damn good." I, I mean, think, it could just. I think be. She laces it with something. I might. <laughs> I mean, because I don't knock it. It is really good. It okay. Has, like, I know you don't like sweets, but it has a lot of different spices and stuff. In you know, and I don't knock it. Really I'm well, you're not a pie person. Either. I'm really weird, but I mean, I did this like. This year, I'm giving chocolate. you all three pies. You can put me on the record for that. All right. And try and have all your family <laughs> try them. That's cool. Have you ever had Argentinian? desserts no where can you try it i i, I was gonna it. say like when you said that like french was like really light and everything mm -hmm. like that's what came to mind when you said light is argentinian and, and the only reason why i had some is i used to work with a the company i used to work for before uh one of our drivers was from argentina and mm -hmm. and he brought some in and it was super super light like what was it yeah i wouldn't be able to tell you okay. it was just Bring it was it. their sweet bread and oh. and, and it was just really really good um not heavy set i mean because i'm used to your dead conchas and all that shit but <laughs> you're sorry. such a hater i know conchas don't hate me <laughs> <laughs> i still love y'all what well, is the outside of y'all <laughs> yeah i need to learn i only know french desserts some italian desserts american desserts okay. i'm gonna try to do some mexican desserts yeah. I know a good guancha recipe. Really? Yeah, but I mean, I just the thing is about that, I couldn't do that and still charge upper curvy prices because mm. people know that the things only. Well, all you have to do is switch it up a little bit. I'm, make it a fancy guancha. You, you know what? My, my, I mean, like my those one, unicorn conchas. My one complaint fresh. with conchas, like, I they're think dry. they're awesome. Aside, yeah, dry. But it's Crazy. like, I will eat, no, I will eat <laughs> the, the candy part and everything, like the first little layer, and after that, I'm, I'm good without it. Like, you, I, wanted, you like the sugary part? That's the best part. But it's not even the pastry. But that... Sorry, I'm not trying It's to like you're eating the icing off the cake and leaving the cake. But see, at least the cake is good. Okay, so it is an issue that the pastry itself is not good. So just it's make dry, the pastry like better. Say, yeah. Okay, fine, I'll make it better. Now you're challenging <laughs> me. Now I gotta make the contra because you... Like, we have it on the record. Okay. Can we have this on the record? Yeah, yes, I'm gonna try to make contras for you. <laughs> Um, do you feel like the business changed uh, or not necessarily the business itself, but the vision of it changed after 
uh, you were, you became on your own? No, not necessarily. Okay. Um, I just kind of had to learn more of the business side of it. Okay. And, uh, was that hard? Mine was a yeah. That is the hardest part. I mean, like, because so it's to not the just, day. yeah, it's not about just baking. I mean, it has to do with just constant, you know, bills and rent and paying people and like things like that all come in between making delicious desserts and selling them to people. I right. mean, um, that's just part of it. But, you know, you get used to it. It's just all a part of having a business. Was it a smooth transition or you hit roadblocks during that too? Yeah, I mean, it's it's stressful. I mean, I'm still li like a stressful person just in general. You don't. You, yeah, you, like, you, I mean, I'm finessing it very well, by the way. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I having this position just, you know, can be anxiety ridden. I've always been a really anxious person. So it's kind of weird to have me, like, I, I just don't think if someone saw me in high school, they would have been like, oh yeah, that girl wanted to have a business. Like, no, because like you said, I mean, you knew of me, but I kind of just kind of went in the crowd with everybody else and who knew that this would happen, but yet I just became really good at something. And you're and doing then, it though. And I'm doing yes, it. Yes, girl. Yeah, like, I guess that's really all that matters, you know, yes. and, and, and like, I have to, it did just. Did y'all have you as a reunion already? Or not? Did you go to the reunion? I didn't go. You did didn't I go? go? I didn't go. Did you go? Yeah. What do, what do people think or say? Like, oh, they just like that's Jen. Like, which is fine. <laughs> like, I never. I mean, like, if someone put too much attention on me, it would make me kind of uncomfortable. So, yeah. like, I, I I I'm fine with just staying like that. So you didn't take them cupcakes? No, I did not. I should have. <laughs> no, I mean, it was at like Cadillac Bar. Oh, not man, that's fancy. We yeah, we nice. yeah we had to put together I, I'm some not money talk for shit it. About mine or mine. <laughs> no, yeah, like it was it was decent. It was done by Lo, uh, Lorena. She did a really good job. She yeah, um, but yeah, no, it was fun. No, but no one's just like, oh, that's Jen. Like the person has a store. Like no one ever says that, which is fine. Like no, I'm not, I'm not trying to. We'll like, say it amongst each other though. We'll say it. Yeah. No, I always tell myself like, that's that. That's that bad bitch right there. No, no one's. Yeah. Like, <laughs> people are just Why? like, Why? I can't believe. Her, 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 uh, what are they called? Macros. Yes. <laughs> I never, when people, I always assume when people talk about me, they're just like, that's that really weird girl no. in school. And she like started selling cakes, but they're really good. You were, you know, I, I might put you on the spot, but you were, you were the cute, shy girl. Oh, that's sweet. I'm serious. Thank you. But that's yeah. not cool. Like, so it wasn't Wait, cool. No. Like, it's just, <laughs> <laughs> well, you were shy. How can you be cool and shy? I was doing music and stuff. Like, I want to hear about you those were the things. Shy. I'm telling you, because in, in my bus, um, your bus? My, in my On my bus. Because I, I rode the bus for four years. I was that yeah. cool freaking girl in high school that, that rode the bus cool. for four years. Yeah. Thanks. So, <laughs> where she ride though? Is like the front or the middle or the back? Like it depends on where you sit. Right? Yeah. So my freshman year, I started in the front, and okay. then by the end, I was in the back. Oh, good. Yeah, because the nerds <laughs> in the front. That's you where were, I was sat. Like, that's where I, I met driver. Like that's where I met my best friend Danielle. Like she just first day on the bus, turn around, start talking, and she never shut up. And of course, <laughs> the, 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 you know. No, even, 17 even now, years she later. Still hasn't shut up. Yeah, <laughs> she just keeps talking. I can't yeah. just talking. But um, I guess just knowing a lot of people that knew you. Um, you were like the, the, what do they call it? The Now they call it the WCW, like the woman crush. Oh, that's like you, sweet. You were that cute one, everybody had a crush on you, but you were just shy. So uh, to me, it was like, I never felt like I knew you knew you, but I just knew of you. I like to think that too. Like, I feel like a lot of people from school, um, you know, like I see them now and they're like, oh, Jen, you're cool. And I feel like in school, I always, it, it always seemed like that too. And I like that I knew kind of at least knew everyone. Yeah. You know, like I had my really close friends, but I could talk to anyone, even though I was like really shy. And I still kind of am shy, but I, I think I've just become not as much because I know I have to take pride in my store. Right. You know, and like there. I said, like, um, I was sorry saying, in, in our, in our, even in our bus, I mean, it was Ricardo, it was Jordan, who has his own chocolate company now. Yeah, Jordan. Um, he has books too. Like, I remember bumping into him maybe 10 years Honestly, ago. Honestly, there's so many people that have become successful yes. from our school. Let's I'm just telling say that you. right now. Yeah. Like, I think that a lot too. Like, and dude, Jordan has books. He has a mm -hmm. chocolate company. Like, he's making something himself. And it's pretty, it's just really interesting. And, why Saying have that we, we have not interviewed a chocolate? You have okay, not told me this. Okay, that's next. I, I, told, I said I have a lot of friends. Jordan, you yeah, started let's off just with come chocolate. up with the list. Yeah, but he's very busy. Like, he has his 9 to 5. He has his business. I will get there. I was busy, Jordan. <laughs> okay, like, She's calling you out, man. I'm calling no, you out. No, I can technically call him out, yes. 
I reached out yeah. to a few people. Don't, don't, don't give me a hard time right now. <laughs> it takes time. It's not about y'all. It's us. Okay. Okay. Get saying. it, girl. Yeah. No, like, we're just busy. No, that, like, that was established. Like... She's like, just because y'all ain't busy. Doesn't <laughs> no, that's not what I'm saying. Oh my god. Oh, I see why you're shy. <laughs> just kidding, Jen. That's awesome. So, that is pretty cool, though. Like, how much success has come out of Reagan. That is cool. It is pretty cool. It's Heights High School now. No, it's still Reagan. It's like still Reagan. We call it Reagan, yeah. What is the best thing or the best memory or that, that moment that, of course, you're not done yet, right? But that you felt, you said, I made it. Or, like, I'm making it. Did I think you have it's you? just like, no, I mean, I, it's just a constant thing. Like, cause if I say I made it, that means that I'm done. Right. So like, I... But I guess the, what, what makes you, what made you say I'm on the right path or, you know? Just people, just like, okay. um, just feedback from customers, like in person. Okay. Just saying like, my cousin had a cake from you and it was so good. And, and like, just, you can just see people's face that they really enjoyed the cake, you know, and they made their event. Yeah. And, and that means a lot, you know, um, just our people just go to us saying like our, our friends loved your cookies. And I asked them where it was from and they said to come to this little shop and the strip center is kind of hidden. And, and if we, if come to you, I've told all my friends and we get that a lot. Like, not like every day, I'm not gonna lie, but like it, it happens quite often, right. you know, and, and I'm always really flattered by it, you yeah. know, flattered and humbled and, and all those things because I do, I do really believe we make good things there. You I do. mean, me and, yeah. and my team is awesome. Like Christina, she's been with me forever. I know you've met Christina. Mm -hmm. From the beginning? No, like, I mean, but it, it close to three years now. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, and then and, and she's got her whole family to work for me, essentially. Her little sister works there. <laughs> and then her cousin works with us now. So, so it's very like, family-oriented in yeah, itself, like, too. Yeah, like, I really like to think of us more like a family. And, awesome. and I've never had any sisters, so they're kind of like my sisters now, and they're all younger than me. So, like, I mean... They're always having to calm them down. Like they're always fighting back there, and, <laughs> and they're like, "Jen, they said this about me," and I'm like, "Who started it?" You know, like I don't know. Like it's 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 nice though. I don't. I never think of work as you know a work. chore. Yeah. yeah. No, it doesn't feel that way. I mean, That's yes, awesome. I am there a long like a lot of my day, but I've just I've just really gotten used to what, it. What does your friends and family think about you having the business and and seeing where you're at now? No, they're really proud of me. My mom, especially, like I talk to her every day, and she hears like the ups and downs and everything in between, you know. Right. And and she just she'll she'll remind me of you know where I came from, like how I started. She'll she'll tell me stories that I don't even remember yeah. about like graduating uh, culinary school and how she was there and just really proud of me. And when I started baking, sometimes she says things that I don't even really recall myself. Yeah. But, um, it's been a long journey and like when I really think of it, it's been a while I've been doing it like pretty much like half my life because right. I started when I was like 15, 16 and I'm 32 right. so I'm just like wow, yeah. like that's crazy and why do, did you remind me that I'm old? <laughs> you like, said it! I, mean, like, I feel old, like kind of like it's, it just depends, you know? But When you think about it, when we think about it, because I feel the same way. Yes, I feel like I'm in my mid-20s but then I say, oh, I've known her for 15 years, I'm like, oh my God. You say that and yeah. you, if you start talking to people in their early 20s, you'll you'll yes. click right away a whole year. No, when, my, so, when I hear somebody that's like 18 or 20 say, oh, I feel old, I'm like, shut up. like. No, you're not. Yeah. Well, we sound that way to people that are in their, like, 50s. We talked about that this last time. Like, we started... What, what were we talking about? With it? We started criticizing... Oh, we were talking about uh, Generation... Uh, X and Y. X and Y and all that stuff. And uh, what? No, but we were talking about Tide Kids and all that the shit. The Tide Pods and the Millennials. Millennials. Aren't we technically Millennials, though? No. no I, we are. I know. We are, though. Like, in the years... No, look it up. I didn't want to think so either. But, like, if you really like, look it up, we kind of yes, are. I'm sorry. I, I wouldn't be because it's the ones that are before us are worse. Like we're not that we're not that bad. We grew yes, up in a really entitled. good time period. We're, like if yeah, you think we about did. it, we did. we're in between. We had Morgan Trail, which is what That's you just true. shared, and yeah. that was badass. That and was you badass. know it was like if Absolutely. we went into like <laughs> computer funny. lab and we were playing Morgan Trail that day. We were set. And I was my parents even, wouldn't have made it past the Kentucky that one. Meme, the one that talked about when you walked into the classroom and you saw the, the TV with the VCR oh, yeah. in the class, you knew that that was shit. Like, yeah. Yeah. That, was great. <laughs> that TV is tied up with that, that yeah. 
Or they're playing the projector. And yet, I'm pretty sure somebody figured out a way to knock that TV over. Some asshole probably did right now. What's your, uh, what's your, I guess since we come from the same high school, like, what's your favorite memory from, from your high school experience? Because... Yeah, we talked about it with Winston. Like, I really he love my friends. Yeah. Like, I speak really fondly, and, and a lot of them I still hang out with now. Like, yeah. uh, Jonathan Otero, like, John Sanchez. Like, I hang out with all of them. And then, like, <laughs> some of us have moved on and have families. Uh, William Barry, everybody knows Will. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, everyone knows Will. Yeah. Everybody, every yeah, single you person, know, yeah. you knew Will. He's a crazy <laughs> white boy. He walked around the school head, like. in his boxers one time. But, yeah, um, we're in algebra class again. Yeah, like I think that that out. was the biggest thing, and a lot of my friends were in the year above me, so like the my senior was a little lonely. I mean, I had I had I did still have friends, but they were like my my core, yeah. and um, I think that's the best part of high school because I mean, I mean the day to day it was just like you know you're growing up. I, I went through like a breakup during that time and I was depressed. I think that was the time I went from like listening to like new metal to like indie rock because I was so sad. <laughs> and, and then I went into that and like, um, but no, I mean, it's just like a really quick four years you really think about it. Yeah. Like, but you, you really do experience yourself. I mean, can y'all think about, I don't even want to, I don't even want to talk about this. Like we're really old. I need another beer. <laughs> <laughs> like, I got you, girl. No, like, okay. Okay. She's like, I got myself. <laughs> I, if we're gonna get into this, no, but, no, but speaking <laughs> about speaking it. about music, like that's something that we'll probably show a shot of. Like you got an awesome collection of, of records. Yeah, you do. Yeah. That just walking in is that honestly, awesome. if you really want to know the truth, I'm kind of prouder of my music collection and taste than I will ever be of my begging. And that's kind of sad, but I just really like music. That just shows how it's much I like sad. music. That's no. beautiful. No, like I should be proud of my stuff, but it's like, yeah. But how did you acquire those? those records though i've They're been buying baking, albums since i baking. was that's well, what i was getting at yes i need to make more money so i can buy more albums like you know please help me and buy more please come to we dessert so albums. she can buy some the macarons and the eclairs and the bayonets just buy everything <laughs> like <laughs> just I mean, take the shop <laughs> wait is that right bayonets isn't that the gun no the beignets thing? it's beignets, beignets. Name. You're naming a weapon. Whatever. If you <laughs> shoot gonna it buy your it. mouth, they're gonna buy thing. it. We're in yeah. Texas. <laughs> no, I really, I really enjoy music. So no, let's just. No. Unless, unless you guys oh, want to sponsor to <laughs> the beer. So yes, I need to. I no, that that is a big point. I need to sell more albums. I was supposed to have a thousand by now. How many do you I, have? Not that many, like three fifty maybe. That looks like no, it's it's not. It's only three fifty. I mean, it's nothing. It's really, it's really, it's really nice. Well, thank. You. Are you a vinyl kind of girl? Yeah, I have okay. been in the past. Like, I mean, pretty much since I was like nineteen, I started buying vinyl. Okay. And I regret not doing it sooner. And and for me, it's like honestly, I don't spend a lot of time listening to it, but I really just like having it. Right. Like I like collecting it and having just looking at it. I recently organized it in alphabetical order. That was fun. How do you organize it? Alphabetical? It's alphabetical order. By right. the artist or the name? 300? That's more than 300. No, it's not. Okay. It's about that many. Maybe. It's I need to count them. I don't like to count them until I like have bought a lot more. And yeah. the number really increases. Have you still not bought the Lincoln Park vinyl? No. Which one do they have? The first one or the second one? <laughs> That wraps up today. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to buy everything. I'm actually going to try to buy the first Britney Spears on vinyl because I really nice. like her. Don't make that it. face. <laughs> no, it's just about having it mostly. I mean, I do really like her music, but she is an icon though. She's I mean, the pop icon. Yeah. Come on now. You got to give her that. And she's that. remained relevant after all these years. She's still relevant? She is. Funny story, I met uh, John Sanchez's mom after our Eric Lee um, uh, interview? interview. Okay. Yeah, we were at that bar and she, we, were we were talking about school and who we knew. She's like, yeah, my son went there. John Sanchez. Like, John's mom's really <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, that's like, right. Yeah, yeah. So she's younger, younger than she would be. Yeah, she was. Like, like, like John, like old yes. like John. Yeah. She was really, really cool. Yeah. I just want to, okay, let's just 
put this on the record <laughs> that John likes to say, okay. John Sanchez likes to say that he is the, he is the one that pretty much made the bakery happen. Because okay. when I was in high school, okay. and I've told this story many times to my friends, he used to say, I would be, you know, I'd invite my friends over after school and they'd be all hanging out and I'd give them chips and sodas or whatever. And, <laughs> and he would just be like, um, woman, get your ass back in the kitchen. And like, he would say that to me. And I'd just be like, okay. Like, cause I would, that's when I was kind of starting to bake. So I'd be baking cupcakes when the friends were there and I'd have them taste them and all that. And John was part of that group. And then, so he told me like maybe three, three or four years ago, he was like, you happy you took my advice? Yeah. I was like, what? You kept your ass in the kitchen and look where it got you. Okay. And I'm like, damn, that's right. He's, he's right and I hate that. So John, he knows this. Thanks, he, John. He, thanks, John. You okay, did a good yes, I kept my ass in the kitchen people. as a woman and I, I made it where I am today. Thank you very much. Mic drop. Yeah, for so utensils drop. <laughs> Wish drop. Wish drop. There we go. Rolling pin drop. Whatever. <laughs> yes, I listened to him and it got me where I am now. Yeah, it's true. And I hate that. You it hate seems it. really no. sexist, but yeah, it got me where I was. Yeah. He's right about They're that. They're like, you know what? Yeah, the tough love. Yeah. <laughs> he he claims he owns like 10% just automatically just by me, just by him saying that. Well. I know. <laughs> I mean, he makes no, a good but point. he like he comes in there and acts like he owns a place and says that we have roaches, which is not true. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So now he's trying to bring you down. Like what the hell? <laughs> That's what friends are for. They tough they, love. Yeah, they want to make sure you don't get too, you know. Yeah, they try to too cocky. You down. They want to mm-hmm. make sure, yeah, you stay humble. I get it. You know, going into your shop, it is very. Um, would I say? Would it be correct to say rustic? The whole wooden stuff, right? That would be rustic. But you also have... Um, that was a vision that you had? Yeah. I was wondering about that. Like, what is the concept or is there a concept? Because you also have art in there. And yeah. I found it very, like, almost juxtaposition in the, in the sense that, you know, the, the theme itself is... It is very rustic and homely, but then you have modern or almost French art. So is there something that you're going for? Yeah, I mean, the artwork tries to reflect what we feel about the pastries, you okay. know, I mean, the, the biggest one is this couple kissing and and it's not really directly related with the pastries, but it's it's just a happy piece of art. And I'd like to think that, that um, desserts make you feel happy. Okay. I mean, people leave there happy. I mean, we, we have people uh, speak about the desserts and they get really excited they're just like wow this is like the best thing we've ever had yeah. and they get really excited yeah. and and i mean if you think about it when you eat desserts you're usually celebrating something yeah and right. it's not only that it's the kid in you that wants the sweets it's the yeah. kid in you that wants the cake that wants the cookies like it, it's no it, people that go in there like they they have a hard time like really choosing what to get right and i try to like narrow it down for them to get a few things cause what is your go-to out of the desserts? Yeah, like oh. in your own shop, like let's say somebody comes in not really knowing about what you got going on or anything. What What is your, you should try these. Oh, I try to give them the most popular thing. So the macarons are really popular. The creme brulee. Okay. Okay, we, we actually put sugar on it and burn the top with a torch, a blow torch to okay. order. So you get it nice and crispy. Like it'll be bubbling when we hand it over oh, to wow. you to eat. And people really like that. Okay. Um, is that the way to serve a creme brulee? Yeah, I'm not I mean, familiar with I that. I feel like it is. Some some shops have it already pre-torched, but then I feel like it's kind of soggy by the time you eat it. Okay. And ours is nice and crispy. Like if you really tap it with a spoon, it cracks. Is that how it's supposed to be? I guess that's how it's so supposed to be. I think it's how it's supposed to be. I'm asking dumb yeah. questions, Jen, only because I'm not a sweet No, person, ask you know? all the questions you want. Okay, that's what I'm asking. So You can say it. Ask all the dumb no, questions. It's not yeah, dumb. It's, they are dumb. <laughs> no, I mean, because, I mean, you know, no, when not, you're saying creme brulee, fine. so what is that? I don't even know what that is. It's a base, it's a baked custard. Okay. So it's a it's actually cooked on the stove and then it's baked at a low temperature in water. So, <laughs> it's so it takes both then, right? Oven top and then sto- and the stove yeah. and then oven. And with ours, we we ba- we uh, cook it on the stove. We let it rest overnight, which it kind of cools down the up in the fridge overnight. 
and then um, we bake it in, into small ramekins and it's actually filled with water. It's called a water bath, so it kind of like okay. steams and bakes at a low temperature. That's and impressive. Then, and then, yeah, and then it's like a like a, a solid custard at the end. So there's like an art it's, behind it. Yeah, or it's a, a science, process. Like it's a mentioned. process, wow. yeah. Of a dessert. It's one of the most classic desserts, and I feel like I feel like we do it really well. I mean, it's be especially because we we torch it to order, and people really get to feel that crunchiness of it. So what's the one? I guess what's the most arduous piece of pastry that you guys have? Because that's to me seems like it's a lot of work. Oh. Um, for somebody, for you just to hand it off and they're gonna eat it in five minutes, to me is like oh, that's impressive. Yeah. Is that the most arduous one? I or? don't know. I mean, everything takes work there. You know, it just. Yeah. But sometimes it doesn't feel like as much work. We do it every day. Right. Um. I don't know. Because I, I can kind of see like a donut shop. You you you, you drive around there at two three in the morning. The bakers are already in there, and of yeah. course they won't open till you know five or six. But they've been there since one in the morning, doing everything. Everything we do is like a process. I mean, it's all have it has to be prepped in advance. Like um, some things have to sit overnight to really, you know, mend together and get the flavors that we need. What's the hardest I one, or the most that takes more process for that you can think of? I guess okay. The tiramisu takes a few, a few days. Really? To oh, wow. really prepare. No yeah, way. like because we make. Yeah, like it's. I'm trying to envision it right now as we're speaking. It's a, it's layers of of. Okay. Essentially, like a thick cake with a custard. Yeah. It's made with mascarpone cheese, which is like a Italian cream cheese. So, and it's oh. made. It's it's really complicated actually when I really think about it. It's made with like egg yolks and all these things, and it has to be set together. It has to be cut up. And, um, but at the end, you get like this creamy deliciousness of like really hot, like a lot of coffee and yeah, like a rich cheese, like kind of like a cream cheese, but not quite a cream cheese flavor. Is that why you would say most servings are very small when it comes to tiramisu? I think ours are pretty big. They right? are it big. Just, it just depends on like what you think. Cause that, some, that's why I'm surprised. It depends on if you're a sweet person or not. You know? Well, I'm, I'm not, but yeah. when I go to, you know, you can go to any restaurant, like high end restaurant. The tiramisu is coming in a little cup, yeah, like a little spoon, and like you know, one two bites, and you're done with it. We don't. I just want to say we don't judge anybody if they just go straight out. They can pick it up with their hands. I mean, we've seen people pick up fruit tarts and just eat it. <laughs> like, there's no judgment right. at our store. Like, I mean, you can eat things however you want. Like, that's the way food should be eaten. You should be comfortable with it and yeah. just dig in. Like, it shouldn't be for fruit. I think, I kind of think overall. The bakery we desserts has, um, you know, ha made people think that you can just, just, just go for it. It's just, it's just food, you know. Right. Just go for it. It's just dessert. I mean, it's French pastry, but y'all are very form, like y'all are very laid back. We're informal, yeah. yeah we're we're just, yeah. Without, without naming any names, like, have you known of, of a big, famous person or a big name like ordering from you? Not anybody so far that I know of, but I mean. It might have happened, but maybe. But if it hasn't, it's fine. I mean, any. I I think it's just really cool overall when people who have never had those type of desserts eat them Try first, first at our night. place. Yeah. Right. yeah, that's like really cool to me. Yeah. And what about any um, competitors? Have you had any big rifts with competitors, or no, never? Or is, or is there one specific shop that you're like, I'm trying to be better than that? You know. Not in a messy I don't know. I don't, okay. I never see it like that. Okay. I mean, maybe the first year I kind of felt that way, but since when I finally learned that we have our customers and they have theirs, okay. we have their our own thing going on. Like yeah. it doesn't really feel that way. We personally love a lot of other local bakeries. Like okay. Michael's Cookie Jar is. Um, we love their their cookies. Okay. Like, you know, I mean, we we tire of our cookies. We eat them all the time. They're great. But we eat them all the time, okay. so we want to go. We, the, <laughs> I'm sorry, like the, the, the M and M cookie at Michael's Cookie Jar is amazing. Michael's Cookie Jar is Michael's where? Cookie Jar. Okay, they're great. Do you know the owner? I don't know him personally. I've met him over the years. Like I can't say like I know him, but okay. like um, you know, I know of him. and We've met, but um, yeah. And then we recently ordered Christina's birthday cake from Fluff Bakery. And they're oh, wow. great. Yeah. And like, so we, we try to support other stores and 
Because, I mean, let's just face it, we eat our stuff all the time. Yeah. We get used to the taste, mm -hmm. it's great, but like we want to try something different. So, right. everybody has their own thing. I'm, I'm not going to be like, ours so, is better. So your mentality is more like, if you're manifesting your own lane, then you should just be good. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, if they want to come to us once in a while and have that flavor, it's just like, just think of restaurants. Like you go to one place, you want that taste. You go yeah. to another place, you want another taste. It's just, what are you in the mood for? True. That's true. the same thing with, with bakeries. Touching, touching base on, on, on taste and everything, there's something that we ask every every interviewee. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what is your go-to food? Like, right now, what's your, your, your one go-to? Like, right now, you wanted to order something, what would it be? I'm gonna feel embarrassed, but it's, no. I just, I've been eating Chipotle a lot. Okay. Good girl. Yeah, good that's for you. Good, that's real good. What's your Chipotle? A burrito or a bowl? Okay. We're gonna judge you. This is gonna sound really bad. <laughs> no, look at it. She's no, already. Like, she has her eyes closed and she's already envisioning it. <laughs> this is bad because I'm trying. I'm not trying not to eat carbs right now, and our bakery is nothing but carbs. So like, okay. I feel bad. It's like the complete opposite. But I pretty much get like a salad bowl, no rice. Oh. I just get vegetables, wok. Yeah, and that's it. Just no starches, and that's what I buy at Chipotle and meat. And it fills me up. Okay. So what don't you get from the like when you say you get the bowl? You, you don't get the rice because that's starch. You can't get the rice. You can't get the corn, the beans. <sighs> that's the best part. I know. Like. <laughs> okay. But it fills you up at the end. Okay. I mean, it's just. I'll try it one day. I'm no, lost like twelve pounds. No, <laughs> the rice and the corn make it for me. I've lost twelve pounds in the Good last two you. months, Good and I'm gaining it all back tonight. Thank you. What are we here for? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you all the sugar in the beer. Um, another question would be, what is your song of the moment that defines your life at the moment? I know, right? Don't ask me that. You have, you have, no, yeah, you have you a can. Ton. That's like the ton. hardest thing. No, we'll I can't. We'll give you some time. You know what? Oh. Okay. Okay, no, think about that one. What's the other one? Um, the future plans. Where do, you see Where do you see yourself in five years? Where do you see we desserts in five years? Yeah, that's a good question. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I guess the song or the you <laughs> or the five year plan. I don't know. They're both. They are good. They're both hard. Well, mm -hmm. not necessarily. Five year plan. Uh, I mean, you're working for something every day. What are you working for? I just want more people to eat. The desserts, the desserts we have. Okay. Some part of me kind of wants to like become a TV star, but then not really because I don't what have time for it. I thought about that earlier. What happened to Cake Boss? Is that still on? Yeah. No. I mean, they, they kind of play know. off on it. Like now they have kids baking and. Well, that's uh, that's Gordon Ramsay, the whole kid bake chef. Or I've or had something. like a thing in my head about a show, and okay. it will never happen. But I just don't I say that. that. Well, like I really like music and I really like baking, so I would like to have like my favorite bands or artists come and bake something with me. That would never happen. That's awesome. Why not? I love that. It Why not? Why not? not? Because they don't have time. Just they like they would. Don't have time. Fuck it's the same thing. We said, it's the same thing we said about you know interviewing people with their own brands. Well, like you that, could say interviewing her. Like well, we I mean, never she, thought we would be here. Exactly. Look. I mean, because even your response was very she said, we straight, don't have time for you. Though. Straight down the chart. I never said <laughs> such a thing. I do. I have the receipts, actually. But it's okay. <laughs> I, I won't judge you for it, because we understand that a Screen business person... Screenshots will be posted. Yeah, yeah, I'll send it to you. We'll put them no, on the I video, No, I think that would be really neat. Like, I could imagine, like... That sounds fucking cool. Some of my favorite great. artists, like, coming on just looking completely stupid. Like, baking stuff, because I don't know. What's your favorite doing? artist of yours, since you're, since you're the one that's um, in Um, that? it changes, but okay. right now, it's probably... Uh, Title of the Creator, the rapper. Okay. His album, new album is really, really good. You should listen to it. I wouldn't have thought you were a rapper kind of. Girl. No one ever thinks that. Okay, I just got into that a few seconds. <laughs> Cause you said indie. At I the really like indie rock. Like, yeah. Just thug life. Take <laughs> <up>. <laughs> I knew it. it. <laughs> I like to think the stuff I like is kind of artistic uh, hip hop, not okay crazy hip hop, but whatever. Um, yeah, I really like him a lot. So leaning leaning back to the second question, what's what's the song of the moment right now? What song describes 
you and your business right now? What? Know, that right? is a really weird question. That's something that really... takes some time to think about. I mean, when you're baking, when you, um, if I, if, like, think of yourself baking, like we hours in the morning, and that's one song that pumps you up. Like, yeah, this is my shit. Like, you're, you're, you just got your eggs, you just got your flour, you just got whatever else it takes. <laughs> the tiramisu and, and, and is like you're, cooling you're off you're over about, there. You're about to push play and to start like... mixing. <laughs> well, what plan? <laughs> what question? What do you, really what, do you like? what do you listen to on a daily that pumps you up? So leave it alone. Let, okay, let, 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 let it simmer. Let it simmer. Let it simmer. I cannot. I We're gonna have idea. a ten minute break and then she's gonna answer. <laughs> ten. Two hours later. This is really hard for me because I I just I have a, I had just go through a lot of phases with music. Like yeah, I don't really have anything in particular. Okay, we'll make it easier. All right, it, it might be easier. Let's. What do you have? Spotify? Pandora? Yeah. Okay. What's, <laughs> she's what, nervous. What's What's the song that's on your Spotify or Pandora right now? See. Just press play. Don't even. <laughs> just press play. Just press play. Or no, Baby no one would. Shark. <laughs> <laughs> Are we judging? <laughs> it's a tribe called Quest. That's what's on there right now. That almost really good. Mobius? Is that what it says? A tribe called Quest. Okay. 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 I'm trying to. I'm trying. Okay. I remember <laughs> more than ever in high school and not listening to hip hop. I just want to say that right really? now. Really? Yeah, because like it's so good. And I just never really. What do you think of Logic? I don't I don't know about him. Everybody has really strong opinions about Logic. He's, I don't really know a lot about he's Logic. Legit. I'm the same way. I, I feel the same way. I don't know I don't know much about him. Like, like but everybody talks about him. Logic it. is People either say he's really good or really corny. Lyric no. Like I don't know what Hell to think. no. Lyrically he's he's up there with Eminem. Really? Hell yeah. Eminem took him under his wing. I have no idea about Logic. I've heard about him, like I said. Logic is the shit. Okay. What do you like? You're very brands like Lincoln Park, right? I I go left and right. Like I listen to everything. Yeah. I, li I, I like classical music. I like Logic. I like Lincoln Park. I like System of a Down, Metallica. I love System of a Down. Everything. Yeah. I mean, there, there's there's very rarely something you'll put on and I'll I'll not like it. Well, lately it's been loud music because he's getting older. So. I'm what? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so loud? Oh my god! No, like Jeez. EDM. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't have any. Like, I used to have stuff on blast in my car. Like it doesn't matter what it is. Like if someone opens my car door, they're like, "Why are you listening to music really, really loud?" I'm like, "Cause I'm trying to be punked, man. <laughs> like to build these desserts." Um. So where where can people find you on social media or find the uh, find the, the the dessert shop? Okay, so we have a Instagram at We Desserts, O U I. Yeah, desserts. not we, not W E. Not U, W E like, O U I. Wee. Like you uncultural motherfucker. Cultured swine. No, so We Desserts. O U I D E S S E R T S. Yes. And then. Um, and that's on Instagram. That's on Instagram. Okay. That's probably like the most updated you'll okay. find. I'm very lazy with social media. I'm sorry. So does you that mean mostly, you, you, don't, you don't do it? I don't really, no, I do do it. Okay. I just don't update it very often. Okay. If you want to really find stuff, you just come in the store. There you go. <laughs> see what we have and pick from that. The because address. 3411 Kirby. 3411 Kirby. I'm going to throw out there. Throw it out there. On Google Maps, mm -hmm. I have one of the top pictures of her shop. Oh, really? Yeah, I do. What's I it? got a notification. I got like over a thousand people. I don't give a fuck about your face. <laughs> <laughs> I got a notification. I got a badge the other day. I'm like, oh, cool. I ate her. Stuff. Wow, really? <laughs> what, did, what picture was it? I'll find it right now. <laughs> he gets on my nerve, but it's okay. Shut up. He means well. I do. <laughs> I'll find it. Carry on. So, Facebook? Okay, I don't have a Facebook. 
as much in me. I don't really have. I I, I have. I get overwhelmed. Okay, just do the Instagram. I'm sure. I'm no, sure. No, I just okay. have Instagram. We have just like, Instagram. and we have like a simple online store. I mean, consider- just come talk to us in person. Okay? Yeah, we'll I talk mean, to I you. We're it, people. It says a lot that you've been in business for five years, and it's even good, even okay. now, you're not you're not making the hits on social media, but your shop is making the hits. Yeah, your food is speaking for itself. Like you're doing it right, Mama. Like. I think I'm doing it right. No, I just you don't, are. I just don't have time to like really do all that. I, I care and it's gonna about come it. with time because the it moment, has, the, yeah, know? and it has. Like you said, like you've gained that. You know, the contracting with you know Empire Cafe. You're making more cakes. Next thing will be you know you're gonna be making you know like more or something else, or you're just gonna expand it to something else. And you know, it's one of those things where, for example, I have a family member that has a, they have triplets, and when people ask her, well, how do you do it? They're like, we know nothing else. Just like there's nothing else, you know, to compare it to. So for you, it's like, yes, you may be overwhelmed now, but when people ask you, well, how do you have a whole shop? Like, they don't. It's not a a, a small spot at the mall. It's not a small like. You have your own little bakery, you know. You know nothing else. There's nothing else but up from here, you know. Yeah. Like so, to me, it's like everything that you venture your. Sorry. This thing has 14,381 views. <laughs> wow, you took Boom. that picture? That's nice. 14, Was it on Google? 14,000 views. You get on my nerves. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Is that on Google? Yeah. 14,000 views on that thing. That's cool. No, but they... And then the cookie, oh my god, see, the cookie, the cookie, that is, cookie is really good. Th- this doesn't mean shit, it's the cookie. <laughs> I'm sorry, go back to where you are talking about. Yeah. I, I hate you. 14,000 views. I'm always telling my story. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude, it's, it's really impressive. And um, just the idea itself that you can only go up from here. Like, you're already doing it. Yes, you're overwhelmed, but you have a group of five on your team. Yeah. Um, and in five years, with only five, you've done so much. Imagine There's people that do. have like two or three times that size of a team and don't even get to that. That's what I'm saying. You don't have a small spot at, at, at the mall. You don't have a small spot. You know, you have your own shop, you know, and it's all in-house because you say it's almost like a family to you. Yeah. That's amazing in itself, you know, and if, like I said, there's nowhere else to go from up. So you, you have it. You have, you're doing it right. You have a great mindset. Um, surprisingly, you're still humble. Surprisingly, <laughs> no, I feel but, very humble. But if it, if it is, if it, if that fades away, like you're more than entitled to. Be that I would never. You. No, nah, I, dude, I, but you're more than entitled to. I just, I will never see myself just being like, oh yeah, I'm shit. Girl, I'm gonna like, be waiting for you. I'm gonna be waiting for you. Well, thank you. I'm gonna be your I, I don't think so. I'm gonna be in the like, background like that's my boo. I mean, I think that being humble makes me keep trying hard. That's true. You know, that because if I was. They can and I would just be like, oh, it's great the way it is, and I wouldn't care about quality. But this like, is almost ironic. Like, stay humble, hustle hard. I, I, that's true. Yeah, it well, really going, is. Yeah. Going back to the five-year thing, that you haven't answered. Yeah. Like, do you see that vision yet, or? It's really hard for me to think like that far ahead. Like, I just, I just keep working hard, and stuff just happens. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that's how I see it. Like, I just. Keeping making customers happy because I'm pretty they sure refer me to other people when yeah. just keep going from there. Because I'm pretty really sure all. you never saw it coming that Empire Cafe was gonna come at you, right? No, like I never like I can't even look back years prior to see how things really built up to the way. Right. Like because I never really I'm trying, but I'm not trying. The only trying I'm doing is literally by continuing. Keeping up. Yeah, to yeah. keep up with the quality of the stuff and. Um, that's or would you it. be excited or are you looking forward to having more of those big restaurants or big names come at you like that? Or are you scared I away? I mean, it's or... kind of scary, but it's exciting at the same time. Because oh, okay. I can only handle so much just right. as myself. I think you, know? you should go after the rock stars when you're in your uh, baking. I, I always joke that like if any celebrities come in, I would love for them to come by and like, you know, call me out like say oh i got this macaron here we deserve it and stuff like that who do you follow bandmates because you did say okay i just want to say this right now okay aziz he's okay. my favorite person <laughs> all right the there we go aka, AKA monil <laughs> 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 
You see, that's what I mean. I got to put up in the universe. He loves food, and if he ever were to come to Houston, if he would come to my shop, I would just be so grateful. Aziz, she's calling you And so excited. Like, I got to try this. I will quote you endlessly and annoy the hell out of you because I do that to people every day. And yeah, I find that hard to believe. No, I do. I love Aziz. Like, I don't know if it's like a sexual thing. I don't think it is. <laughs> I just love him in general as a person. Is he attractive? He's funny. He's okay. funny. So the funny that makes him attractive. Him? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> we think we're funny. Bad joke. When I we're think drunk, we're we funny. think we're funny. I think you're very funny. You're I drunk though. People. I mean, we're drunk. You're drunk. We're ju- I'm drunk. I'm I didn't spill drunk. my drink. I am drunk. Yes, you did. You spilled the drink. <laughs> what drink? I don't have no drink. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to edit that shit out, so I don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> no, you better not. You know, that was random. Like, I was it. carrying it like this, and I was like, nah, it dude, just tipped. No, it didn't. It did. You were moving it around, but whatever. No, I was going. Anyways, thanks for having us here, Jen. Yes, thank you. Um, I wish you nothing but the best. I do feel and really believe that you're going to get it. Even from your rock star visiting. She's getting it, man. Like you are, you are. I mean, you said it yourself. Um, every step up you've got, you've done, or you've gotten, has been like unexpected. Yeah. So no, it's it just. I feel like it's to me. It's come along a little slower because I haven't really pushed it, but it's okay. it's come along. Like it just takes time. People know who you are to taste your product, and then it goes from there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Have you thought about uh, opening other shops? No. Okay. Is it harder? Is that is that? I is just I couldn't think. I, I already have the one. Like it's already enough with the one. But like I don't know. I mean, would it be like we do? <laughs> I, <laughs> what? It's a legitimate question. <laughs> I would rather if I had the choice to move, maybe move to like a bigger location and just have more products. You think you're funny? I know. Like I just, I'd rather just have more product come out from one you see place why and have two. Funny? Locations. Like I have yeah. to left my own. No, you're nervous. funny. You're funny. <laughs> That's. She, he says in a view we do. <laughs> you, you, you've thought about that for a while, right? It's like we so were like so much <laughs> emphasis on it. <laughs> That's the only reason. That's all. (laughs) How long were you saving that one? (laughs) Ever since I know you started (laughs) it. You you did it with so much emphasis, man. Like I was like, wow. (laughs) I'm sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Thought about a week, dude. <laughs> I mean, it sounds nice. No, it does sound nice. No, you're right. It you're does. being nice to him. Shut up, no, just be real. It was fun. It's legit. I'm gonna buy that website. <laughs> <laughs> we do. We do. Uh, I see what you see? mean. See, I see. I see how you you're do. laughing, but much. You Wait, can let's you're talk. It can be let's open change it. Just the last part, okay? Or West Downtown. We the do. office. Let's talk about the office. We can talk about the office. No, I want to talk to you about the office. I'm going to read you now. What's your favorite episode of the office? I'll show you which one. It's where Jim and Dwight go out on a sales call and, and Dwight is lecturing Jim about not walking not walking um, in front of anybody because he'll, be, he'll get attacked. Door, yes. And he opens the door and then Jim just... In the middle of his sentence, just slaps the shit up. <laughs> That's my all-time favorite. All, I have watched the episode. I have watched The Office no less than like twenty times, I and that it. that episode every single time gets me. How annoying do you get to Brenda with The Office? All the time. My baby girl moves every time she hears yeah, my, my ringtone so you believe that she's gonna love the office as much as you um, she's either gonna love it or be annoyed the hell out of it <laughs> you have free nights or uh, on a, like a specific day of the week or no wednesday nights are my party night wednesdays wednesday hump day yes okay so, so I'll, I'll let uh actually anthony know too because like i said they go to all these like trivia nights and i just kind of show up and like 
We, when we went, I went with, with Matias and, and Tony. Like, we we did a good job. Yeah, I do. We did, we, I we know did them two alone. Yeah. It, it, was, it was him, His Zeus. His sister. Oh, no, that's the other time. That's yeah, why I went to the other time. time. But, yeah, we got we got pretty far in the trivia night. Like, we know, we know a bit. They got little trophies and everything. Really, like, big old oh, We just stole it. <laughs> did y'all really? We just, like, hell on. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good picture, though. <laughs> what else? Who's your favorite character on the office? Favorite character on the office. Wow, that's a hard question. Okay, you pick two. Who's your favorite? Who's your top two? God, it, I don't even know. Favorite character. I really on the like office. Dwight. Dwight's up there, and Jim. Uh, Dwight and Jim, like it's, it's between Honestly, those kind of like Jan, like no one talks about Jan, but she's kind of funny. Jan is freaking hot. She's she is hot. Jan is freaking hot. Wait, how did she even quit the company? What happened? She gets fired. Why? She gets fired and then she sues because she thinks that they fired her because of her boob job. She did a good nice boob job though. She did get a very nice boob job. <laughs> <laughs> When Michael like was wanting to break up with her, and then she takes off her sweater, and he's like, <laughs> "I feel I think him. I feel him." <laughs> Michael has become a really hot guy in the future. Like, the oh, that, the that's beard funny. Guy. Yeah, that's yeah. funny. Like the memes is like the guy that she told you not to worry about, and it's like you know, like his sweater, like. Yeah. No, he looks really good. He like does. he looks better than he did when he was younger. And he's been taking, he's been like filming a lot, like in, in like places and whatnot, and he's taking pictures. Like he's very apparently he's very friendly with like fans, mm -hmm. and um, because I follow like groups on Reddit and it's like Dunder Mifflin and everything, and like they post pictures and yeah, like he's tons of people taking pictures of him and he's like not turning him down. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm.